What's going on guys, your boy Optimus, and welcome to some Hardpoint on Detroit. And what we're going to talk about in this video, going to be pretty simple. You're going to see me using a KF5, ASM1s, pretty much stuff I just pick up off the ground. But guys, this video is all about good guns, bad guns, and skill levels. So first off, let's start off with good guns. As we all know in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, we have the great guns of the BAL and the ASM, ASM1. Whew. Saying that fast always messes me up, and I don't know why. And but <laughs> back on track, we got the great guns, which are the the bow and the ASM ones, and then you have the variants, which are absolutely insane on both of them guns. Variants are just so OP in this game. So we're gonna we're gonna weed out variants. We're gonna say you're a player who likes who don't have variants and or is competitive, so chooses to use the standard versions of guns just to make sure that when they get into a competitive standpoint GB or scrim or anything like that that they are using the guns that they can only use so you're getting used to the standard gun so and then we got the OKs and the bad guns the KF5s, MP11s, AK12s and I would throw the IMR and the good to great list the IMR has gotten much stronger but do these guns really make a player better or is the player just following a trend and are they are they just subpar and to this i say honestly guys skill level and guns in call of duty regardless of the damage that they do or range that they kill over doesn't really mean anything if you are a player who is really good with the sac threes and very familiar with the guns you yourself are going to do much better using them just for the fact of that is what you're used to, that is what you like. So, does that make you a bad player? No, not in one bit whatsoever. It's why I'm using KF5s and SAC3s in this video. Because, guys, just because you're using KF5s and ASM1s, MP11s, AK12, doesn't make you a bad player. You're playing to your skill level and what you feel is comfortable to you. Now, a, a great player would be able to, in, in my standpoint, use these bad guns and then be able to switch to the very good guns and be able to make the change. So using bad guns, guys, is in, in the long run going to help you guys get better on the good guns. Because the KF-5 has a very bad time to kill. A four to five shot kill, sometimes even seven. And then when you switch to the ASM-1, you're in that three to four shot kill. Makes a huge difference. So as long as you connect your first couple shots, guys, you're going to win your gunfight regardless of what happens. Now, I know I didn't want to talk about elites very much in this, but we're going to touch on them just a little bit. Elite variants of guns, such as the KF-5 Breakneck, for instance, just thinking of guns off the top of my head, is very insane. But at the same time, not all the elites are good. Each elite, as you guys know, all have a downfall. Something that stops that gun from being too OP. Um, such as the Battle Inferno's recoil and the small clip size on the... I think it's small clip on bat, the Insidious Steed and uh, KF5 Breakneck getting very low accuracy. All them things do change and there are ways to counter them, guys. So just because you don't have a certain elite doesn't mean you aren't going to beat them. Now... Overall, let's talk about your skill set together and less and a little bit less about the gun. So, if you are a good player, a very good player, we're going to start at the highest tier. You're going to be able to pick up almost any gun in Call of Duty, in any Call of Duty, if whatever ones you're good at, or all of them, for instance, like me, I have all kinds of guns that I'm good with in all CODs. You can pretty much pick up any gun and do pretty much put in as much work as you can as much work as possible and you're gonna get good kill games even though you may not drop your normal 50 bomb that you do at your bow you're still gonna have a very good game so there is that if you are in the mid range like you're okay with certain guns you're more of a sub player you're gonna be able to pick up almost any sub and you're gonna be able to do all right you might go one or two negative you might break even but you're going to be able to pick up the subs and do anything that you want to do and not really need to change your play style. Now, if you are a player with a very low skill set, guys, and I try to help you guys out on this, and I want you guys to hear me out on this. If you have a very low skill set, I highly 100% recommend.
recommend using the bow and the ASM-1. It's really going to help your KD get up, and you're going to notice a big difference in your gameplay. So using bows, ASM-1s, and elites are really going to help you guys get an upper edge on the players who are very good. Now, along with all the balancing inside of Call of Duty, gun stats are going to change, so the way you use guns is always going to be different. The KF-5 is a very good hip fire and holding down hills. I wouldn't really uh, go and face anybody from mid-street very far away, unless you absolutely know you're going to get your kills, but the shot to kill range is just very far, so don't try stuff like that. Overall, guys, there are so many different guns and so many different ways that you can play Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and you don't need to follow the trends of Bowels, Obsidian Steeds, and ASM-1s to be good. I guess, as I said, good players will almost always be able to pick up any gun and enjoy the game and do work with it. Now, there are silly gun classes that you can use, the XMG-3s, SAC-3s, which I've talked about previously. You can use them guns, guys, and just enjoy yourself, because at the end of the day, unless you're competing in a GB or something like that, Call of Duty is about enjoying the game for what it is. Instead of getting so try-hard all the time and so butthurt about everything, just relax, guys. Play the game. Try different classes. You never know what might work for you. And here's a class setup I'm going to give you guys that you guys may not have done before or may have not used, but it's going to help. Now, I suggest using this class particularly only on hardpoint or momentum. This is an MP11 advanced rifling laser sight and quick draw. And the reason why I suggest this class is because it is an awesome hill gun. Breaking hills or holding down a momentum flag with it, hip fire all the way. It is going to be the equivalent to running the Scorpion Evo. And if you want to get the Scorpion Evo Black Ops 2 style gun, you can always throw rapid fire in the MP11, get rid of that quick draw, and you're going to notice a big difference in fire rate. And you're going to beast people at close range. There's no doubt about it. Now, if you want to go super try hard, guys, the class setup I recommend, as you've seen before, you're going to want to use that ASM-1 advanced rifling, quick draw, and foregrip to get them sights down range. You're most definitely going to want to use fast hands so you can run while reloading. And guys, perks do change a lot on how you can play the game. Gung Ho helps you be able to run and shoot at the same time. Well, if you're a flanker or a running gunner or a person in the hill like me, you're going to want to have fast hands. You're going to want to be able to run and reload, switch guns faster, because you're going to be in situations where you're going to want to pick up other people's guns as much as possible. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this gameplay. I want to thank you for stopping by the channel. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If not, slap the like button below. Leave a comment below and let me know what you guys would like to see in my next video. And until the next video, guys, peace.